My name is Frederick Ebede and I'm the founder of All People's Food. Our objective is to meet up the identified needs of the population of Delaware and the Everon. We have different product base that are not easily located elsewhere in the metropolitan area of Delaware. Our objective is to create a safe and quality product for the people that are resident in Delaware and beyond. And we have pursued this objective for 10 years now, and by the grace of God, we are expanding our business vision to encompass our associates to create advancement opportunity for them as well as our customers. I'm Erica McIntyre, owner and operator of TS Printing and Apparel. I found out about All People's Food from a friend that I used to go to high school with. Uh, I came in, I love the product selection that they have. Uh, I found a lot of great things, rice and chicken and so forth, that I can introduce to my kids to eat more health, ethnic and healthy. My name is Stanley Charles Carr. I'm the co-founder of Lock Nation, the movement, and uh, owner and operator of Luxury of Choice Hair Salon. I actually love all people's food because um, I was introduced to it by Brenda. Um, she actually was at a different location um, which was next door to the shop where I was working at at the time. And it was just a shock to me to find that I could find like Haitian food, because I'm from Haiti originally. Um, so there's a lot of stuff that, um, whether it's for cooking or whatever else it may be, it's just difficult to find. You can't go to Walmart to get it. So that's definitely had a big, it has definitely had a big impact on my life. When we came to Delaware, we discovered that every store goes to New York to buy product or DC. And we just want to contribute to their own advancement. To make life easy for them, we want to take the burden of sourcing all the product they need, and then they can eat, we can easily deliver to them at ease while they spend that time developing their customer base. My name is uh, Marie Cassius. I'm a power professional in the school system. So I know about this business probably 10 years because I used to work for Christiana Care and I have uh, some African friends who sent me here. So now, you know, I have, um, since I'm from Haiti and they have a product from Haiti and I buy uh, some African product, you know, so I am always feel welcome here. My name is Vivier. I am the manager of Spice and Nice Restaurant. I am a customer of all people food. I do order oxtail and goat meat for my restaurant. I learned about all people food from a friend of mine. She handed me a flyers one day and from there I became a customer. My name is Chris Saki and I'm the operation manager at All People Food. My role at All People Food is to make sure and oversee the production of goods and services and then the transportation also. Uh, as a manager, I make sure that our customer meet their basic needs and the best products that they request for. Uh, we also make sure that our customers are safe on a daily and timely basis. And as a manager also, I'm involved in the processing and production area. That is, I'm not limited to just sale or overseeing. I get involved directly in the processing of every product or goods that you see on the market from all people food. My name is Sylvia. I am the owner and the manager of La Tropicana African Food Market. Ten years ago, we opened our store located in Smyrna, Delaware. We had to travel to New York City, Maryland, D.C., Pennsylvania, Philadelphia to have all our supplies. And being a mother, a businessman, a wife, it's not, it hasn't been easy for me at all. One of our friends introduced us to the CEO, and since then, we have a wonderful relationship since we have known all people food, it has been so convenient for us. I don't have to travel so far anymore for my store needs. 
I just had to make a single phone call and wow, I have what I need. Coming into all people's food, I was able to experience a different type of diversity that you don't find in other grocery stores and supermarkets. I was able to find products, products that are rare to find, and that was a true blessing. Me being a well-rounded person, I've noticed that there's anything from the Caribbean that you need, you could find it here. Um, from Jamaican, uh, I mean, like, there's certain stuff that um, that Hispanics people like, you know, that's more traditional to their culture and you could find it here as well. I'm really benefit from all people food. With all sale wise, it's very good at a reasonable price. Uh, they do deliver, so I need like a big quantity, like a 200 pounds of ax sale, they could able to deliver it for me. And it's very good. At All People Food, we make sure also to do delivery of goods and services to our customers. And as a manager, I also oversee this process. Even though it may be tough sometimes, but um, we have to make sure that our customers get the best um, satisfaction out of their pocket spending money. In 2008, I was privileged to visit one of the major food trade shows. And I was surprised that all the African attendees they were just spectators. And this actually stepped up my, my thinking, stepped up my mind. The question that I address myself to, why is it that all the Africans are spectators in a big show as this? So when I came back, the idea to begin to develop product came into my mind. We have also partnership with Avon. We are Avon representatives, so you can also place your order with us if you need any Avon item, it is Avon slash All People's Food. My name is Fayo Rishile. My name is Frederick Ebede. My name is Stanley Charles Carr. My name is Adekunle Lawrence. My name is Vivier. My name is uh, Marie Cassius. My name is Sylvia. My name is Chris Saki. All People's Food is at 19 King Court, Newcastle, Delaware.